This is a Von Dupen Chexit, the new style that has been in production since August 2015. I'm going to show you the basic install, not connecting it to anything external. Uh, as far as what's required, you have your motor, your RX switch, the control module, the blocking device cable that plugs into the motor, your main wiring harness, and the cover plate with the key switch which plugs into the board. I'm going to assemble this and zoom up and go over it a little closer. Okay, so I have this device partially disassembled just for the ease of instruction. Uh, now, your RX switch, which is mounted underneath the push pad, comes up underneath the motor, plugs into Rex. The blocking device cable is here and goes straight into the motor. You've got to make sure it's snapped in pretty good. The uh, nice thing about the Quick Connects is you, you can usually hear it snap, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, your key switch plugs in right here, and your main harness snaps in right there, and that's all there is to this section. Uh, we're going to begin wiring on the frame side of the EPT-10 con. Now, with your new checksit, you should have an EPT-10 con, which has a quick connect on the door side and on the frame side. That just makes it so you just snap it together. Now, on this side, I'm going to go over all of the common problems with your initial installation. All right, I have wired this checksit to power. I have plus 24 going to red and black is my ground wire. Now this is all I've connected and this checksit will not work. I'm gonna go over that right now. Okay, with the checksit only connected to power on red and black and that's it, you'll see a bunch of LEDs come on on the control board. You have INH, DPS, key should be red, you should have green for power, and FA will also be lit up red. Now as is, if you try to arm it, you get one red flash and that's it. Uh, the issue there is that the INH, which is your access control wiring, is reading open. That is a normally closed contact. It has to be tied to power. We're going to get that fixed and move on. All right, it is a little bit hard to see on the video. Uh, this is the green wire, which I have tied in with the plus 24, and my red wire, which is power for the checksit. I'll move back over to the module. All right, as you can see, we have a measure of success. The INH light is off, but I do still have the DPS and the FA lights on. So if I try to arm it, it's going to immediately go into horn. The LED is going to start flashing fast. It still will not work. We're going to fix the rest of the wiring now. So with the DPS and the FA lights on, DPS is a door position switch contact. It is normally closed. The FA is your fire alarm contact. It is also normally closed. This is your orange wire. This is your yellow wire. We're going to tie those into plus 24. You'll see them shut off as well. All right, I have connected green, yellow, and orange to the plus 24 and red. Back over on the module, you can see the only lights that are now on are key and power. Again, this is for initial installation when you are not connecting to anything external, just power. You want to get it turned on and make sure it works. So with just the key and the power turned on, I'm going to turn the key switch. The key light will turn off. You'll get a solid red LED. And after the rearm time comes on, your motor will retract an arm. You'll get a slow flashing light here. And holding down the push pad with the nuisance alarm on will send it into alarm.